what's up and welcome back to my channel. Once again, we are in the lovely venue, you guys I'm sure <laughs> appreciate. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about Simone Biles and when I say talking, I may be misrepresenting it a little bit because I'm going to go on a small rant and it may not be that small. We'll see. If you guys don't know what's going on with Simone Biles or what's been going on on the hellhole that is the internet, I'll catch you up with that in a moment. But first I did want to thank our sponsor, which is Vessi. Vessi makes 100% waterproof shoes out of dual climate knit material named Dymatex. This material ensures that you remain cool in the summer and hot in the winter. With summer coming up, Vessis are perfect for adventuring while remaining comfortable whether you're hiking, camping, or just out and about. Plus, they're easy to clean with water, and the weekend shoes even go in the washing machine. They're also sustainably made and use no animal products. These are the types of sneakers that you leave by the door because you know you're going to wear them out and often. I've been wearing my bestie shoes as I've been on my feet for long hours, packing boxes for my move, and I tend to get heel pain after too long on my feet, but Vessi kept me comfortable even through such a chore. Check them out at the link below and use my code on the screen to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. Thank you, Vessi, for sponsoring this video. Simone Biles is an American artistic gymnast. She has won 30 Olympic and World Championship medals, and she is the most decorated American gymnast and is regarded by many to be one of the greatest and most dominant gymnasts of all time. So this is just a little about Simone Biles, which I think is very necessary considering the types of people I'm gonna be talking about in a second. If you look up Simone Biles these days, a lot of the headlines are talking about the fact that she withdrew from individual all-around gymnastics competition at the Tokyo Olympics to focus on mental well-being. I read an article, and I can't find it, but I'll link it down below if I can, that it said that initially they had said that Simone actually had a medical issue, like a physical medical issue, as opposed to a mental health issue. And that already pissed me off because I knew that the reason why they were doing that was obviously to protect Simone from getting the type of shitty response that we're gonna get into in a second, which is where I get angry. But it's fucked up that you would even have to lie and say, oh yeah, I have a physical medical issue in order to avoid scrutiny because a physical medical issue is regarded as a real issue as opposed to actual mental health struggles, issues, illnesses, whatever it is that are regarded poorly, that are still stigmatized, unfortunately. As much as I like to think we've taken many steps forward. It's moments like this where I'm like, shit is still fucked up and it really just enrages me. That's, that's all I can say. And I've been seeing shitty takes on the internet, which is why I had to talk about this. And <laughs> listen, everyone can have their opinion. My opinion is that these takes are shitty. But on top of that, I think before I read you these shitty takes, it's important to realize that, well, first of all, any mental health struggle, illness, whatever, is just as valid as a physical struggle, illness, whatever, okay? So let's get that out of the way. Simone doesn't need to explain herself, and I think it's ridiculous that there are people online that are like, well, what's going on? Like, what can be so bad that you have to remove yourself from the Olympics? Like, it's just, crazy to me what people think they are owed. First of all, she doesn't owe anyone anything, really. If she wanted to stop being an athlete tomorrow, she can do that. She doesn't owe anyone going on to continue the Olympics because some Twitter rando is asking her to continue because mental health isn't important or mental struggles aren't real, okay? So, I just don't understand that type of mindset. Like you don't know this person, you don't know what they're going through, yet you're gonna ask them to put their bodies and minds through struggle that they can avoid for for you, for what, for a medal. Like, I don't understand. Some of the shitty takes online include things such as, that gymnast seems to be getting more raucous support for saying mental health and quitting than if she'd won the gold medal. 
And then someone said, Simone Biles has famously never won any gold medals. First of all, I'm wondering if you two Twitter users have won gold medals. I'm <laughs> just wondering if you're going to really comment on that. Maybe, you know, have something to back it up. Even if you had won gold medals, you shouldn't be shitty, but I think it's funny and ironic that these people are weighing in on something they don't know about in the sense of none of us know what Simone Biles is going through. We just know she's having a rough time and that should be respected. End of, I, it's, it's mind boggling to me that this still has to be a conversation we have to have over and over again. Aside from that, there are a lot of things that are practical in nature that I don't think people are considering. And when I say people, I'm talking about these shitty people who just don't respect any mental struggle, mental health issue, whatever. We need to remember this person is a gymnast, okay? If you are not in the right headspace, and therefore, you know, your head affects your body also. So if you're not in the right headspace to be doing these crazy gymnastic acts that I can't even fathom, if you fuck up, not only can you injure yourself terribly, horribly, irreparably, you could die. You could literally die because you're forcing yourself to do something when your head is not in the right place to do it. Especially as a gymnast doing flips and all that shit. And, I, and that's the thing that I think is most mind-boggling is that even if you don't value mental health, even if you want to keep stigmatizing mental health, if you are all about facts and not feelings, the facts are if someone's in the wrong headspace, no matter what, even if it's just something like they had a fight with their best friend, if they're in the wrong headspace to do these flips, whatever else, you have to accept the reality that they very well could pay for it extremely dearly, if not with their entire lives. And I think that's something that these people aren't really addressing. At the end of the day, if you can make that choice for yourself, if you can remove yourself from a situation, why would you continue to put yourself in that situation? These people who are commenting these shitty takes would also have something to say if she had forced herself to continue and then fucked up and then after said, oh yeah, my mental health was bad, they'd say that it was an excuse or, and then they'd shame her and then they'd probably even accuse her of lying, being like, oh, she's using mental health to excuse a bad performance. So it's really a lose-lose with these people. Most infuriating is that there's no right answer no matter what because these people the shitty take people are so invested in being contrarian over something that is so, first of all, personal, and second of all, has been proven. Like depression being real, like it's not a debate. <laughs> like, and I'm not saying she's depressed. I don't know what it is, but I'm just using depression as an example of a mental health struggle. It's been proven. There are brain chemicals that have been proven to affect how you are, your moods, your will to live. So again, I just, I know that Simone Biles is getting a lot of support from a lot of really important people actually. So I hope that that support outweighs all of this, but it's shitty that she had to go through any of that in the first place. I'm mad, I think you can tell. I'm gonna shut up now. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.